Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be explaining the basic division on abacus procedure. This procedure is taught or it starts in the stage three of my abacus course. Okay, so the page you can see right now is one of the pages from the stage three workbook. It involves three digit numbers divided by one digit divisors. Okay, so I'll be so solving a few select examples from this page in this video. So I'll be, uh, let's, cons I'll, let's I'll solve this first sum, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, these four examples I'll solve in this video. And so that everybody can watch this, these numbers properly, I'll just write them down in larger font on a blank paper. Before we start to learn division on abacus, the f primary things that a learner must already know are two things. First is tables. Okay. A learner must know tables of all one digit numbers very well. Okay. Let's say for example, what is uh, seven multiplied by eight? He should be able to tell it's 56 instantly. He shouldn't need to recite the entire table of seven to answer seven multiplied by eight is 56. Okay. This is a primary requirement. The second primary requirement is knowledge and practice of subtraction formulas. Okay, so if a learner uh, is yet to learn addition and subtraction formulas well, then please go back to stage one videos, learn them, practice them well, and then come back to division. So division is deliberately included in stage three of the Abacus course. It's not there in stage one, it's not there in stage two, it's included in stage three. It starts from stage three. So let's start with the division procedure for the four examples. The first example is 318 divided by 2. Okay, so in case of division on abacus, we need to make use of two different sets. One will be the answer set, the other will be the question set. Now this middle white dot is the regular uh, units place of the answer. Okay, our final answer will end at on this rod. So units, tens, hundreds, thousand, these, these rods are for the answer set. We will take another white dot as the units place of the question set. So in my case, I'll consider this particular white dot, okay, the next one as the units place of the question set. Since our uh, dividend, that is the number to be divided is a three digit number, the, it will start from the third rod here. Okay, so 318, I'll take 318 here like this and then we'll start with our division procedure. Now this division procedure is quite similar to what we learn in school. Okay, we start from the leftmost digit and then proceed gradually towards the right. In same fashion, we'll start with the leftmost digit here. The first digit here is three and the divisor that the, the number that by which we are supposed to divide this number is two. So we'll be reciting the table of two each time. So from for this three, we can subtract one times two from this, right? We cannot subtract any larger multiple of two from this only one times two can be subtracted from this. So we'll have to take one in our answer set on the corresponding rod. Corresponding rod means this is the hundreds place of the question set. So the answer, uh, hundreds place on the answer set will take, will have one on it. Okay. So we'll take one here on the hundreds place of the answer set and then subtract one times two is two. So I'll subtract two from here. Okay, this is, was the first step. Now for the second step, we'll move to the next rod. That is the tens place rod. For tens place rod of the question set as well as the answer set. Now the number that I have in front of me till this point is 11. Okay, this one that was remaining here from the hundreds place and this one. So I have 11 in front of me. For 11, I will recite the table of two and get as close to it as possible. So five times 10, uh, five times two is 10, right? So I'll take five on the answer set, 10th place of the answer set. This is the corresponding rod here. So I'll take five on the 10th place of the answer set, subtract 10 from this 11. Okay, from this 11, I'll subtract 10. Now, second step is done. Now I'll move to the uh, units place of each rods, okay, units place of the question set as well as the answer set. Now on the question set, the number that I have in front of me is 18, okay, 1, 8, 18. In table of 2, 18 is there in as 9 times 2, right, 9 times 2 is 18, so I'll have to take 9 on the 
answer set in the units place which is the corresponding rod i'll take 9 here okay i'll take a 9 here and then subtract 18 from this rod and i've finished the divide dividend part completely and the final answer that we have is 159 okay now let's move to the second example watch it carefully you'll better understand this procedure okay so the second example is 831 divided by 3 so 8 3, 1. Again, I'm ending this three digit number on the units place here of the question set, this white dot. Okay. And again, we'll start from the third rod of the answer set as well. Third rod on the question set, third rod on the answer set. Now, the digit we have in front of us is 8. The divisor is 3. So, I'll recite the table of 3 each time. So, from this 8, I can subtract 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. I can subtract that. So, I will take 2 on the corresponding rod which is the hundreds place rod of the answer set. I will take 2 here and then subtract 6 from this rod. Okay, 6. Subtraction of 6 is done. I will move to the tens place on both the sets. On the question set as well as the answer set. Now, on the question set, the number that I have here till this point is 23. Okay, 2, 3, 23 till the tens place rod. So, for 23, I'll recite the table of 3, get as close to 23 as possible. We get 21, which is 7 times 3 is 21. So, 7 will have to be taken on the answer set, corresponding rod of the answer set. That is the tens place rod. So, I'll take 7 here and then subtract 21 from this 23. So, 21 is subtracted. Now, I'll move to the last rod, that is the units place rod. Here, the number that, I, that is remaining is 21 again. So, this is again 7 times 3. So, I'll take 7 on the units place. That is the corresponding rod of the answer set. I'll take 7 here, subtract this final 21 and we are done with this division. The final answer that we have is 277. Okay, now let's move to the third example. Third example is 236 divided by 4. Watch this very carefully. This is slightly different than the previous two examples. This is again a three digit number. So it will start from this hundreds place of the question set 236. Okay, the question set is uh, done, is ready. Now we'll start from the third most digit. Third most digit that is a hundreds place digit here is 2. Our divisor is 4, which is larger than this 2. That means we cannot subtract anything from this 2, which is present in the table of 4, right? So, we'll skip this step, move to the next step. We'll move to the second rod, that is a tens place rod here, on both the question set as well as the answer set. Remember, we don't have anything on the third rod or the uh, hundreds place of the answer set because this digit was smaller than our divisor. So, we are now starting, actual starting the procedure from the second rod that is a tens place rod now the number that i have here is 23 okay 23 till the tens place rod from 23 reciting the table of 4 i get to 20 5 times 4 is 20 so i'll take 5 on the answer set corresponding rod that means the tens place rod so i'll take 5 on the tens place of the answer set subtract 20 from this 23 so subtraction of 20 is done now moving to the units place rod on both question set as well as answer set, the number that I have here is 36. Reciting the table of 4, we get 9 times 4 is 36, right? So I will take 9 on the answer set here on the corresponding rod which is the units place rod. So I will take a 9 on the units place of the answer set, subtracted this 36 and our division is complete. The answer that we have for 236 divided by 4 is 59 okay now moving to the last example fourth one the number to be divided is 745 so i'll take 745 okay and then divisor is 5 we'll start with the third rod third rod on both the sets question set as well as answer set the digit we have on the third rod on the question set is 7 so 1 times 5 can be subtracted from this i'll take 1 on the third rod of the answer set Okay, 1 is taken here. I'll subtract 5 from this question set third rod. Okay, 1 times 5 was 5. So, I've subtracted 5. Moving to the next rod, that is the tens place of both the sets. The number that we have here is 24 on the question set. Okay, for 24, reciting the table of 5, I get to 20. 
4 times 5 is 20. So I'll have to take 4 on the answer set. Corresponding rod that is the 10th place rod of the answer set. So 4 is taken here. Now I'll subtract 20 from this 24. Done. Moving to the final rod that is a units place rod. The number that we have on the question set is 45. So 9 times 5 is 45. So I'll have to take 9 on the answer set. So 9 is taken here and this 45 is subtracted and we have completed the division of 745 by 5. So the answer that we have is 149. Okay, so the same principle or the same logic is applied when a two digit number is divided by one digit or a four digit number is divided by one digit. We have to start from the corresponding rod. Okay, remember these words corresponding rod. This is very important. You have to always consider take the answer on the corresponding rod to the one that you are currently considering from the question set. Okay, this is a very important step. If you follow this procedure correctly, you won't make any mistake in division of abacus division on abacus sums. Okay, all the best.